Hey guys, it's Ben with Myers Woodshop. Today we're going to be talking about table saw and specifically the miter gauge table saw sled. So for a while now I've had this Incra miter 1000 HD um, miter gauge and I love it. Anything Incra makes is top quality. It's like a woodpecker's tool essentially. Um, it's really great but I, I know that they've had this miter saw add-on to it that makes it a sled for a while now and I have been wanting to try it out. So I decided to pick it up and see if it's worth the money to add on to the miter gauge and see how well this sled does. What I do like about this sled is that it's small and lightweight. I can tell that before even opening the package. And for my shop, small and lightweight and easily tucked away is really, really key. So we're gonna open this up, check it out.
So that was the assembly. We cut our test piece, worked flawlessly, and it works really nice. Easy to assemble, attaches to the Incra miter gauge that I already had very easily. If you didn't have this miter uh, bar across the front here like I do, you can easily attach a piece of wood across and then those extra clamps um, and knobs they could attach to that so you don't have to have this fancy bar. I just happen to have that because I had that whole set of the miter gauge and the fence across there. So I think this is a fantastic buy. It's really simple yet the material is really high quality. That's what you come to know with Incra Precision and it's very very nicely made. And I love how easy it is for me to pull this off. And I can easily store this and carry it without banging into things in my shop. So it's small, but you don't really need anything bigger than that. And it just slides back in. If I get the T part of that, slides back in. Again, I have a blade that tilts to the left. So my material that I'm going to place down is usually going to be on the right. It tells you that in the manual. If you're on the left, if it tilts to the right, you're going to be on the other side of the saw. I have a saw stop, the 1.75 horsepower. So I didn't have to do the extra step as in lining up these bolts to get it where I have to cut off this little extra outfeed table part. Um, if you have it to where it doesn't line up quite right to these screws and maybe it's over too far, you're gonna have to cut off a little bit of that piece. I didn't show that because I didn't have to do it. it really, it lines up perfectly. So. I'm very happy with that. If you do use a dado stack, you're going to cut a bigger uh, piece out of this, but then you'll have a gap in the center, which I don't think will be an issue unless you're cutting slivers of stuff. Generally, when you're cross cutting, you're not really into that. So it could work with a dado stack too. You're just going to be cutting uh, a bigger area in the center. So that's all I got for this video, the Incra Miter Express cross cut sled. I really like it. This is now my go-to and it'll probably be the one I keep in my shop, especially because of its size. I can actually fit it in the shop and store it very easily. If this video helped you out, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe so you know when I come out with other videos. And as always, happy cutting.